Hey everybody, welcome back. It's me, Amanda. Thank you so much for watching today. Last week, I did my one week project marathon experiment number two, and it failed. Oh well, today is a new day. This is a new week. It's Holy Week, which means the week before Easter. Today is Palm Sunday. Thursday is Monday Thursday. Friday is Good Friday. And then this next coming up weekend will be Easter weekend. And I will be serving in all of it. So what better week could I pick to completely change my entire life? Hence, this week will be one week project marathon experiment number three. So the plan is every day this week, including today, to get up early at 7 a.m. So far, so good. One day down. This is in prep for next Sunday when I have to get up at 5 a.m. to make it to choir practice at 7 a.m. for our Easter Sunday performance. Yay! Please pray. You know I'm a night owl. Anyway, so last week's experiment, or like last week's experiment, I will be vlogging my experiment and from the, on the beginning of the day and then at the end of the day, documenting all successes and failures. My plan is to follow my ideal day routine using my journal project as my one and only project to work on all week instead of different projects every day. My goal is to finish reading 2018, so I then will be able to start writing God's words for 2016. On Wednesday, however, I will be going to the library in the afternoon, so probably won't work on my journal project that day. And then at night, again, I can do whatever I want, like reading. Oh, update, I finished Pet Cemetery. yay! I will be donating it, which is one of my uh, New Year's resolutions. Nice. So that's the plan. Will this week be a success or failure? Don't know. Will it be better than last week? Don't know. Will my involvement in Holy Week affect the exp experiment? Maybe. We'll see. Today is Sunday. I'm optimistic. Wish me luck, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Hello, everybody. Today is Monday. Um, it is currently 1.44. Um, I am working on my journal project from the previous week, and uh, I think I'm going to read it first and then do my uh, workout and shower and get dressed and all those things after. Because, I, I don't know, maybe I'm lazy. I don't know. But I am working on it. I'm not not working on it. So, I just thought I'd go ahead and do a, I don't know, before there was a vlog. I, I don't know. I'm just telling you what's going on. So, I am working on it. And I will get back to you next time. Oops. Hey everybody. Okay, so today is Monday and I just did my hair and makeup all for you guys. Woo! It is 4.42. Um, I have started working on my journal project before my shower. Um, I'm planning on doing my previous week um, journal project and like reading it, labeling it, and doing the God's Words journal. Uh, and then shifting my focus back to 2018. All I have to do is read it. Everything is already labeled technically, so all I have to do is read it just to say that I read it. And I could even call it done already. Um. If I was a little bit more disciplined, I would put on music and, you know, focus on it, but 
I, I'd much rather watch Hoarders while I'm working on it, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I will catch up with you guys after, at the end of the night. So I'm starting at like practically five, so let's say five to nine instead of one to five. Same four hours, but uh, just shift it a little. And that's fine, so I will check in with you after words and let you know how it goes. Wish me luck! Bye! Okay, it is 8.50. I'm calling it for today. I did, I did read the previous week and I, I read it, I labeled it, I wrote God's words and I, <laughs> while I was watching God's words, oh by the way, I've finished the episode of Hoarders but didn't actually work on anything while I was watching Hoarders. I just like ended up watching it. It didn't have any commercials. It was on demand. Anyway, <clears throat> so I ended up using like music to finish reading it. And then when I switch over to writing God's Word, I don't really like, I don't have to think super hard or anything. <laughs> so I put on one of my favorite YouTube videos. Oh my gosh. I went through and found Jamie French's um, move, makeup and movie videos and my I watched my two absolute favorites and is her reviews of Buttercream Gang and Rigoletto and if you've never seen either, if you've never seen the movies watch the movies if you've never seen the videos watch the videos I will link them for you because they are freaking hilarious I laughed so hard I cried it was so fun. I haven't watched them in a while, and I will watch them over and over. I ha I have watched those videos over and over, and I crack up every time. She's freaking hilarious. Everybody go watch Jamie's videos. Wow. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow the plan is to try again. I will say that this year, well, this, this year, <laughs> today, I did wake up at 7, um, a.m., and... You know, I did stuff on time is debatable, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Um, you know, um, so the plan is wake up at seven again tomorrow and work on my journal project 2018 from one to five. Eee, I plan on uh, reading tonight. Oh, I'd like to point out um, give you guys an update on my, here we go. So, I finished The Handmaid's Tale. Um, I found it on YouTube, uh, audiobook, where the actor who plays her in the Hulu series reads the entire book to you, and now I'm obsessed with audiobooks, and that's how I'm gonna read all of my fiction from now on. In fact, it wasn't until after I finished Pet Cemetery that was like, I'm gonna do, we'll see if I have Pet Cemetery, and they did, and I was like, why didn't I just, why didn't I, why, why didn't I do that? I could have done that, save me all that time and energy and frustration. Have somebody read it to you. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna read all of my, rest of my stack of books that way, like especially fiction. Um, side note, me and fiction don't always get along. I don't really, especially when it comes to fantasy, I don't know. It's like a whole thing. But anyway, so that's the plan. I don't know. Um, I'm planning on finish, there's, I, I did finish it, but there's like this little like, I don't know, appendix to it called historical notes that I want to read and it's not on the audio book. So I'll be doing that tonight and I'm also going to go back to my clutter book and read. So reading at night, yay. And, uh, so, yeah. Okay, so, that was Monday. See y'all Tuesday. Bye. Have a good night. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It's Tuesday. I'm doing something radical. I, I had, was futzing around with the, uh, computer, and the next thing I know, it's one o'clock. And I'm like, well, I could push back everything, do exactly the things like I'm supposed to. I could do my quiet time, exercise, shower, get dressed, or it's one o'clock, I could throw on my clothes, 
do my hair and makeup, and just work on my journal project like I had planned. And it would be fine. And I can shower tonight. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing matters. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do everything a little bit backwards today. I'm going to do my journal project first, do my quiet time afterwards, then exercise, then shower at night. Radical. Alright. So I will talk to you guys later tonight after all the experiment is over. See you later. Okay. It is 6.08. I'm calling my journal project for today. I did work on it. Um, I was able to read a week and a half. Awesome. I worked on it from 1.20 to 6 o'clock. So that's good. I took breaks to eat, you know, lunch and a snack. I just put on my uh, music. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Column McGinnis. If you've never heard him before, you'll love him if you like Celtic music and sea shanties, which I do. So I'll link him for you in the description. You can check out my playlist of his, of my favorite songs of his. So I just had that playing and I read a lot. Uh, so much happened. I'm in November 20, 2018. Wow, so much happened. Um, I was able to finish a whole um, nope, spiral notebook, so I was able to put it away. Yay! So here's my stack. Of, but one of them's over here the one I'm currently reading, and then these are the ones I still have left to read. And as you can see, they're already labeled, like I said, so all I'm really doing is just reading them, and it's intense. This, this is, uh, when it goes from November to December, it's like the start of my depression that lasted a good year, so I'm not looking forward to it, but whatever, it's fine. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish the whole thing. Um, I want to continue this, you know, working on reading it for these big chunks uh, the rest of the week. Um, tomorrow is Wednesday. I may not... I may not be working on it on Wednesday because I'm going to be gone. I'm going to go to the library have... Uh, prayer team, grocery shopping, library, potentially choir, but I don't know, at night. And then on Thursday and Friday, um, I have to work on it during the daytime because at night I will be serving in, on the prayer team at church for Holy Week, which is great. I love it. I've never done it before. This is all new, so wish me luck. And um, hopefully I can get at least... I don't know if I will be able to get them all done, but you know what? Maybe. 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 Um, but I'm going to mm, not stress myself out if I don't. I think that's really the key. Like, just do as much as you can each day and not beat yourself up if you didn't meet your goal or whatever. Because I did do stuff, and I'm not always good at crediting myself. Like, I did get things done, even if I don't feel like I did. So, I'll be working on that. And, uh, so tonight I plan on first eating dinner, then, uh, doing my quiet time, exercise, shower, do everything backwards. Eh. And then... Uh, tonight we read. I didn't finish reading The Handmaid's Tale, you know, appendix or whatever, appendix. Uh, so I plan on doing that tonight. By the way, that clutter book, not good. Not worth it. I'm halfway through. I haven't found one tip in it that I can relate to, apply, none of it. I may donate that one back to the library that I got it from. <laughs> so, anyway, 
Um, that's all for today. I hope I, I hope to talk to you again tomorrow, but I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen tomorrow, so we'll see. If I work on my project, then I'll talk to you guys. If I don't work on my project, I'll talk to you on Thursday. How's that? Sound good? Great. So, see you next time. Bye! Hey everybody! So, it's Wednesday. I just walked in. It's 6 o'clock. 6.01. I just walked in from the library and um, I'm about to eat dinner, do my quiet time, and then work on my journal project and read tonight. I finally finished The Handmaid's Tale today. That extra little bit at the end was not worth it. I did not have to read that. I could have just turned it in. It's fine. That's fine. I turned it in. It's fine. It's all fine. And I donated my pet cemetery and now we're moving on. I am so going to be using the Audible um, audiobooks uh, on on YouTube. Uh, you, I will link my um, playlist for you guys if you want to check out what I'm reading or what I plan to read. Um, so I'm going to start my Gulliver Travels, which I did find online. I'm totally going to use it because this thing is hard to read, okay? It's like, this is the oldest book that I own. It's what came out in uh, the 1726. It's hard to read. So, uh, any help is is good. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's my plan for tonight. I will talk to you tomorrow, which is Monday, Thursday. I'll be working all night at church for on the prayer team. Woo! Just got the schedule today. So, yay! Um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. See you later. Hey everybody, so um, today is Good Friday, happy Good Friday. Um, yesterday was thir Monday, Thursday, and um, I I went and I served on the prayer team. Um, didn't really pray for anyone, but that's okay. Um, I was there, I participated, I was there from a little bit after 6 to almost 10, so... Today, I've had a terrible headache and I stayed home and I didn't make it to church for Good Friday. I'm watching it online. Um, it's actually happening right now. It's like 6.35, so it's just now happening. Um, so my plan for tonight is finish my quiet time because I, I just went to bed. Um, or went back to bed and took a nap and uh, so I anyway, finished my quiet time my journal project read and take a shower tonight and then tomorrow is Easter Saturday um, I have big plans for um, doing Easter photos with wild flowers and then serving on the prayer team again on Saturday night and then Sunday is the big one where I'll be in the choir and we gotta get up before the crack of dawn and so wish me luck help <laughs> alright I'll uh, talk to you guys later oh did I do my journal project on either Wednesday or Thursday no I didn't so I'm behind and this experiment has gone off the rails yet again, but whatever, it's fine. So, see y'all next time. See you later, bye! Hey everybody, today is Easter Saturday. Woohoo! Um, I thought I'd just go ahead and make a, my final vlog entry for this week's experiment. What have I learned from my one week experiments? This is number three. Number one, I like recording uh, every day. I like recording my weeks uh, of highs and lows. It makes me feel like I'm doing something, I guess. Number two, I like doing both the same project every day and different projects every day. Both are good. Using journal project or one of my other projects as my work is the goal. Which project really doesn't matter. However, number three, 
I don't like how sloppily I handle my time management. I wish I was more militant with my time. I have yet to move from working in the afternoon is a great idea to working in the afternoon is a habit of mine. It's just what I do every day. I wish I could say that, but I'm not there yet. Number four, I'm torn between should I continue to strive to get up early every morning or should I just embrace my night owl ways and stop worrying about it? Would I be happier if I went back to my go to bed at 2 and wake up at 10 routine? Maybe. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Number five. I've learned that if I don't do my quiet time in the morning, I'm more apt to skip it altogether than do it later that day. Sundays and Wednesdays are the hardest for me to get my quiet time in. It's because my quiet time is so long. Also, I don't care for the book that I'm reading. Number six. I like using reading at the end of the night as part of my nightly routine to wind down and go to bed. So I like having projects to work on during the day, daytime, and then still having reading at night. That's what I've learned so far in my little three weeks of experimentation. Will I continue to make vlogs like this? I don't know. I have an idea for next week doing a, a one video a, a day idea. Is this going to be what I do consistently for the rest of the year? I don't know. I, I have a whole lot of other ideas that I haven't gotten to yet, so I may switch it up. Um, this is just what I've been doing right now. So if you like these type of videos, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Please leave your comments saying, yes, I like this, I want more of it. Or if you have a, another idea for a topic, then you can let me know in the comments. Um, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And um, you, like, you like my content. And um, yeah, I will see you again next time. Have a happy Easter. See ya. Bye.